Hey folks, it's Creamy's Puppet here. It's Sunday, June 3rd, 2018, and today I'm going to go through and I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial. It'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to go through and show you exactly how to use Report a Problem if you're a member of the Xbox Insider Hub. No matter which ring you're a part of, you can use this. So, here's, here's how we do this. What we're going to do is we have our controller here, right? Got the, you can see the Xbox button, and we're going to press and hold that. As some of you may already know, you have these two options here to turn your console off, turn your controller off. But over on the right, as you may, and you may or may not have noticed, report a problem. And then you can use this for any problems whatsoever that you experience on your Xbox at any time as a member of the Xbox Insider Hub. So we're going to press report a problem. In a moment, there's going to be a screen up here in a moment that's going to, that may or may not show some things on your end, depending upon which um, <clears throat> preview hub you're part of. In my case, I'm, I'm a member of the beta hub. And one of the issues that I had was pressing the Y button to search on the dashboard does not work. When I came in here, this wasn't in here, but obviously there's a lot of people who have reported this problem, and enough so for them to go through and post known issues. Also, the other one is the duplicate categories in my games and apps some of you are experiencing. If you're experiencing either of these problems, please, please help Microsoft out here. And come in here and just press it. And go through and follow the instructions that are listed in here. If you got to describe some, please do so. It helps out Microsoft a lot. And it's in the end, it's in your, your best interest to use this app. <clears throat> because it's going to help you out and help them out. And in turn, they're going to get an update out to you and other people. It's going to make these features better for everyone when they get fully released to the general public. That's not part of the Xbox Insider's Hub. So let's just say, whatever issue you're experiencing, it's not listed under known issues. So let's go to add new problem. And one of the things I'm going to note here as, as I'm going through is it's important that we be factual in what we're stating and not getting into opinion or other things that, <clears throat> that really wouldn't be appropriate for this venue. And there's a time and place for that type of statements but let's get back to here and you can see this is a category and this is just again this is to help Microsoft go and organize the information and also get the information to the correct team now the other day I had issues with that search feature as I noted earlier so that's a create on the Xbox home so I'm going through and I'm gonna press Xbox home in this case And you can see, again, there's more subcategories here. It's, and it is important that you make sure that you check one of these and just take a moment to really think about, okay, what exactly am I using? And, and try to go and focus it down so they can get it there. And, and don't worry about whether you select the right one or not. Do the best that you can. Because even if you select the wrong one, they will get it to the right team. It may take a little bit longer, but they will get it to the right team. And they will go, I'm sure, update the ticket with the appropriate subcategory. So it, it's important to try and do your best to select the same one. But at the same time, don't worry if you get it wrong either. Because I'm sure Microsoft will get it to the right team eventually. So I'm going to go through and, I, and see here, there's a search button. So let's go and select that search tile. Now this is where we're going to describe our problem. And you're going to just go and put a header on here. Just something really brief. And I, I know typing with the, the uh, controller can be a bit of a pain. But it's worth spending a couple of minutes doing this. I've gotten rather proficient using the controller and using that D-pad really quick to type. Because I've had to go and type a lot of messages over the years. I'm... 11 plus year member of Xbox Live. But anyways, one of the really cool features, it's not officially supported yet, but there is partial support on the Xbox in some apps on the Xbox for keyboard and mouse. Now, and it's really kind of an experimental thing that they're just kind of a backdoor thing that they still haven't officially released and supported yet. But you can do, and I'm using a wired, I'm talking a cable. I plugged in my USB cable 
into one of the USB ports on my Xbox, and I'm using a wired one. It has very limited wireless keyboard support, so my suggestion is you use a wired keyboard, because that's going to get your best results if you're going to use a keyboard. So I'm going to quick type up a quick little blurb here in the header. Uh, just quick, really easy. Issue with search feature. Not working. So I'm going to move down. I'm going to now go and type up my description here and state the facts of exactly what's occurring. And it, that's all it is. It's the facts of exactly what I'm seeing. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, so I'm just going to quick go and type when I'm on the home page. I tried the new search feature that is part of beta release. And, and if you don't know the beta, the release number, don't worry about it. The, the key is focus on the problem. But if you do know the release number, that's helpful to them. Um, in this case, I believe it's 1806. So I'm going to type it in there. So I've just come up with a brief little overall summary statement here. And now I'm going to go into detail here and state exactly what occurred. Uh, well, on the, the home page, I pressed the Y button. Nothing occurred. I'm also going on and explaining further what also what I experienced because I experimented around with it as well. Because the way it sounded when I saw the update that it was possibly something that would work in other tabs. And it didn't work so I'm going to describe that. But I'm also going to go and go a step further and help really focus in exactly where the problem is. So they know, yes, it's still working in this area, such as in the store. And, and I'm just typing up quick. Except in the store, the search feature is working as expected. And that's it, folks. That's all you got to do. So once you've gone and typed up your description here, and you can see it, and you can be as brief or as detailed as possible, but it's important to remember, the more detailed you are and concise with what you type, the, the easier time they're going to have understanding what your problem is. Now over on the left here, you can see, let me zoom out a little bit, my apologies. You can see on the left, there's a couple extra buttons over here, and these are kind of important to pay attention to. And if it and remember if it's if it's feasible and actually captures helps capture the problem, use these features over here, such as include a screenshot or include video capture. These are important to include. If obviously if you have limited bandwidth and you get something that's just as quick and can describe the problem with just a screenshot, use that. So you don't have to go and use a video. And then you just hit done when you're done with this. And it'll go through and automatically upload all this information to Microsoft. And it will get that information to the correct team on there. So again, the, the whole point of this tutorial is just to help folks understand how to go and use this feature to report a problem, any problem, at any time you have on the Xbox doesn't matter what app or game it is if you have a problem please 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 use it it's absolutely it's to your benefit and everyone else's benefit to use this especially being a member of the xbox insider hub because you're testing out various features that haven't been released to the general public so the the more information you can provide microsoft and any issues you're providing it's going to help them improve the final release to the general public so that way they have fewer problems after release so they can go and 
minimize issues after the fact. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please like it. I'm not a regular uh, YouTuber, but just like it. It'd be appreciated. Forward it on, share it with people. Let people know about this feature. This is a really cool feature that Microsoft has provided Xbox, Hub and, Xbox Insider Hub members. So please take advantage of this uh, feature here that you have at your disposal to help tell Microsoft the problems you're experiencing so you can help them make a better experience for yourself and other users. So have a great day, and again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.